Here's number seven. If n and k are positive integers and eight to the n equals two to the k, what is the value of n over k? Okay, this one's, the, the challenging part on this one is, is you need to recognize that eight is a power of two. Eight is two to the third. Uh, so I'm gonna change eight to two to the third and then that's being raised to the n power. That now equals two to the k. And when you have powers raised to powers, you multiply these powers. So I get two to the three n power equals two to the k. Okay, now I know what to do with this thing. I have two to a power on the left. I have two to a power on the right. That means this power over here, three n, must equal this power over here. Okay, now uh, it's asking for me to, uh, it's asking for what is the value of n over k. Well, that means I'm gonna flip things around and uh, let's see if I divide both sides by k so I can get my n over k here. I get three times n over k equals one and then divide by three, uh, I get n over k equals one third, choice b. Okay, number eight. In a certain store, the regular price of a refrigerator is $600. How much money is saved by buying this refrigerator at 20% off the regular price? Rather than buying it on a sale at 10% off the regular price with an additional 10% discount, with an additional discount at 10% off the regular price. Ooh, a lot in here. Okay, let's get this sale one first, you guys. Let's do the 10%. Well, 10% of 600, of 600, is sixty dollars. Okay, so that's gonna so the sale price is gonna get me at five hundred and forty dollars. That's gonna be my sale price. And then it says I gotta take I get to take another ten percent off of that. So if I you know get another uh, ten percent off of that, well ten percent of five hundred and forty is fifty four. So uh, so if I take that away from five hundred and forty. Uh, 540 and I take off 54, uh, I get, uh, I'm going to squeeze it in here you guys, 486. Okay, that's my sale price right there. Let's go back up to the 20% the off. All right, well if 10% of 600 is 60, then real quick you guys just double it for 20%. 20% of 600 is, sorry my pencil's dying is uh, 120. So if I take that off of that, uh, 600 minus 120, uh, that's going to get me uh, 480. So what's the difference of those guys? 486 to 480. There it is right there, choice A. Okay, moving on. Number nine, if a, f if a function f Hope you saw that. If a function f is defined by this, okay, then twice f of x plus four, okay, if, if f of x equals this stuff, three x plus four, well then twice f of x is gonna equal twice this side, three x plus four, which is gonna get me, uh, distribute that guy through, I get six x plus eight. But they wanna know what's twice f of x plus four. So twice f of x, plus four is gonna be the what we got, six x plus eight plus four. And so I get choice E, because you add the eight and the four. All right, one more, you guys, number 10. What's the greatest possible area of a triangle with one side of length seven and another side of length 10? This one's kind of hard to explain. You, uh, I'm going to go right to a right triangle, you guys, and I'm going to show you why this right triangle is going to be the biggest, no matter what. And the legs are going to be 7 and 10. Okay, um, uh, so if you remember the area of a triangle, area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. In this case, it's going to be 1 half uh, 10 times 7, and I get 35. Okay, now that ends up being the biggest area possible. If if uh, if I made it, you know, another triangle like an obtuse triangle with the seven and ten, it's making it a smaller area. This this triangle ends up being smaller than this area. And if I make it an acute triangle, it also ends up being smaller. The biggest one is when you make it a right triangle and you make those be the legs right there. Okay. See you in the next video.